Welcome to Beyond the Press Channel. Hello. I'm Lauri. And I'm Anni. And this is Frozen Lake Mayhem 21. Woohoo! And today's mayhem is ice sauna. It's sauna made out of ice. And it's not ready yet. Yeah. And this is the largest crater lake in Finland. Yeah, Lappajärvi. And it's made about 80 million years ago by 1.6 mile large meteorite. So that was pretty big boom. But today we are going to try to build this sauna and giant ice carousel at the same time. And it's cool to combine these because from the ice carousel you get the ice blocks that we use to build the sauna. It's just like building giant Lego house except ice is heavy as hell. <laughs> so luckily we have almost half a meter of ice. Otherwise it could go down. I have no idea how deep it is here. Probably pretty deep. Ah. So let's hope that it's not going to go down. But I think we are going to now continue the building process. They are cutting the ice carousel as we speak. And then we use no snowmobile to pull the ice clumps here. Lift this up here. And then we uh, use snow as a sealant so the hot air from the sauna doesn't escape. <laughs> I have no idea how hot this is going to be. I have never tried this. <laughs> okay, that was pretty heavy. I calculated that a good sized block like this is 50 kilos. So this like world's strongest Iceman competition. <laughs> idea is to make about two meters high this so it's like it's going to be like pretty demanding to lift the last clumps but i think matti can do it and to make things extra fun there was about 20 centimeters water on top of ice everywhere and that was because the whole ice was cut out from the lake to make the ice carousel this is actually on the middle of the giant ice carousel so it made the work extra fun but we got the walls almost completely ready on the first day and that's the like the maybe the heaviest part of the process hey welcome to day two Hello. The sauna is about as tall as it's going to be, so the walls are roughly done. Today, things left to do is to plug the holes, install the roof, install the kiwas, and because we are doing this with heat pump guy Matti, we are going to, of course, install one heat pump to the uh, dressing room. So it's going to be warm to change your clothes in the ice sauna. And me or Matti both are not ice sauna experts. Our uh, main sauna expert was Jukka from Keko Saunat. They make uh, underground saunas. So if you want to see video about those, please let us know and maybe we are going to film uh, one of Jukka's projects. Okay, the walls are now done and also part of the roof and we are going to cheat a little bit. The roof is not going to be made out of ice because it would be really dangerous because it would be hundreds of kilos of ice and if it fails, top of us. And also we don't want to make the sauna any heavier than it's now. It's going to be about four and a half tons and the ice here is able to take at least seven tons, so we have still a good amount of safety margin, but we don't want to push it. And now we are going to make place for kiwas here. We are going to put some insulation uh, around the kiwas, between the kiwas and the walls, so the walls don't melt. And then that's going to be the sauna room. And here on the dressing room, we have started to install the heat pump and it's going to be here. It's a regular Toshiba home heat pump and I think it's going to be able to get nice 20 degrees Celsius here on this room. So you can nicely change your clothes here and then go there. And it's also good to have like two doors so 
when you open this, all the heat is going to escape. But we are going to have this room here before the uh, cold out door. So it's not going to go like everything is not going to be lost when you open the door. Okay, and then the last task was to install the kiwas, and kiwas is the word for the uh, sauna stove that heats up the sauna. And on ice sauna you need really heavy kiwas, because the actual building is not going to store any heat. So it's going to be really cold if you are not com constantly throwing water on top of the kiwas, and throwing the water of course cools down the kiwas. So it has to be able to store a lot of heat. So we are using this model that has a capacity for about 300 kilograms of rocks. And when you heat up the sauna, the rocks get really hot, like maybe three to 400 Celsius degrees. And then they release their energy when you throw the water there and you are able to heat sauna up, even if it's made out of ice. Okay, hey. Sauna is ready. It, it was a huge task to build. <laughs> I think about 10 hours of build time. Even more. Even more. And hey, welcome in. We have wooden doors. Cheating, I know. Okay, and you haven't been here before inside. Yeah, because uh, this is a bit too scary. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not going to collapse and the ice is going to hold. But we are at the dressing room. You can change your clothes here. <laughs> and it's not cold because we have Toshiba heat pump. Uh, it's not actually on yet, but it's going to be it's going to be warm when we are going to use it. And then second cheating door. Oi! That's actually <laughs> surprisingly nice. It's already warm here. Hey, you you can only go to the uh, loud loud. It's a bit Ooh. wet because everything is melting. Yeah, so these are tall because all the heat is going to be up here. And we have now roof open, so it doesn't melt while we are heating it. Because the idea is to heat just the kiwas. We have 300 kilos of rock. And then the rocks are going to be hot. And it's going to make a lot of steam. Ooh. And just the air inside of the sauna is going to be hot because you can't make ice hot. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So now we have to keep burning a lot of wood here to make all the stones extra hot. Then we close the roof and then it's sauna time. Hey, welcome. Sauna is hot. Pool is also pretty warm. And onion mat is already at sauna. So Let's go have a look there. What is, what is the mayhem here? Okay, so we are going to use GoPro. Here is the dressing room. Uh, we are needing a bench for this. It's not complete yet. And... Ah. <laughs> hey, Anni, I was waiting you at the pool. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, quite foggy here, but it's actually hot. Yeah, this is great. Can you only uh, toss uh, some water we can see the uh, effect that it has? Yeah, and when you when you toss a lot of water, it's like it's like it's truly like almost like uh, itches on your skin. Mm -hmm. And you can see anything here, as you can see. It's like it, it's 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 actually like this. It's not just the camera. It's like this. But yeah, when you throw water, it's almost like too hot at times. It like it itches. I'm not sure what is the yeah. right right word. And then it lasts maybe 30 seconds. Mm. And after that, it's like hot but not warm. It's warm but not hot. Yeah. Yeah. And and. Uh, well, the walls are really cool. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so you can't lean on the wall. Yep. That's the only, only minus side. Our idea was to make a uh, like swimming hole there, but we thought that this is too heavy. Mm -hmm. So we didn't dare because it would be a terrible mistake to go through with the ice, ice with the sauna. I don't want to try that. So uh, no swimming hole, but we have the shallow pool there. 
<laughs> hey, but hey, one thing that we have to rate, let's go have a look on the heat pump, how it's doing. Okay, only me. Uh, yeah, I have to say that uh, this is not very hot, the dressing room, but here comes like hot air so you can like uh, warm yourself here. But I don't recommend this, this is just like stunt, but you can do it. Okay, hey, sauna is great. We have some work to do with the pool section. There is some ice here. Hey, Anni, do you wanna join me at the pool? Uh, let's see. Uh, not today. <laughs> not today. Yeah, but that is all for today. Our next Frozen Lake video, we have the world's largest ice carousel. So subscribe to the channel to see that. And yeah, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day.